Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll show you how to use the transfer sheets with your leftover peel-off stickers. So I created these two cards and I'm going to show you this piece, how to create it, and then you can create your own card, of course. Uh, so this is a leftover of a gold sticker and that's a leftover of a black sticker. And the ones I used here are the water lilies. So first, uh, so this is a transfer sheet. So the transfer sheets comes in the same size as the peel-off stickers and then I cut it up in pieces because you don't use the sheet in a whole full size because that's not very handy. So I have this piece, I have this piece and then I have a strip that I use for the words. So you can cut it up in any size you want and you can reuse it uh, depending on what you're doing you, but you can at least use it at 10 times I would say but normally I can use it more. So that's the transfer sheet. So I start with the peel-off sticker. So you can see with this one, I already removed the outline and used it for another project. And this is the outline. Let me show you with this one. You see, so this is the outline sticker and then this is your leftover. So I'm going to use the leftover. Now with this particular design, the water lilies, I had to watch because you can see here the stem here ends here, but I want that to use that leftover piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim out that sticker and I'm going to trim it here so I have that stem as well to use. And then I remove the outside. Normally you can also remove the outside first, but because of that little stem here, I do it this way with this design. Then I'm going to take my tweezer, or you can use your fingers, and you're going to take everything away that's around it that you don't want to transfer. So now I have my image that you can see here, you see, that's the one I'm going to use. So then here I have a piece of white cardstock with our clear double-sided adhesive. So plain white cardstock and I added our clear double-sided adhesive on the top. Then here I have the piece of transfer sheet that I'm going to use. And I used this already, so I'm just going to reuse it. And that's very well done. So you see, this is the back of the transfer sheet. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm just going to lift up that sheet from the backing and I'm going to put this in here. So basically you kind of make a sandwich. So you put your sticker in between and watch that I still have the back of the sticker is still on there. So the back of the transfer sheet, the back of the sticker with the sticker on it, and then the transfer sheet on top. Then I'm going to use a bone folder or you can use any like flat uh, piece, you have a spoon works as well, just to rub this. And then it will pick up most of the pieces, but I need to help it a little bit as well. So I'm going to lift this up and sometimes some designs just come off totally. Uh, so now lift this up. So now this is just a transfer sheet and then you see, so it, it's attached to the transfer sheet now. And here you see I miss a little piece, so what you do then, you just push that towards the transfer sheet, so you help it a little bit. But it comes off beautifully this time, but sometimes you need to help it a little bit more depending on the item you use. You see, so now this is the back of the peel-off sticker, so nothing is left, and now my sticker is attached to my transfer sheet. Then I'm going to take my piece of white cardstock with the clear double-sided adhesive, I remove the liner, then I'm going to put that liner in a corner because you will see I need to have a point where I can start pulling that transfer sheet off. If I stick this on here and I don't have that little corner here, it's very hard to remove that transfer sheet again. So as you see, so I place it on here. I rub it a little bit, but it doesn't need a lot of rubbing because it's sticky, of course, the back. You see, and now here, so because it doesn't attach to that release sheet, so now here I have my point that I can start pulling. So I just pull off that transfer sheet like this, and I can move this up a little bit because you don't want to touch the sticky background. You see, so now I have my transfer sheet, I take my back again, and I'm just going to place this back because I can reuse that. So that's here, then I'm going to take this off, and I use my uh, release sheet as well as a handle because I don't want to touch the sticky. Then I bring in my uh, glitter tray, Swiffer in here, coffee filter, and I'm using the light gold. It's the 644, the light gold. Just going to sprinkle that, tap it off. And what I need to say as well with transfer sheets, sometimes I kind of push it down on my jeans once or twice to get the sticky off a little bit. 
but you just need to try with uh, with the ones you have. So you see now all that glitter is on there and I can easily wipe that off. Tap it off again and I'm just going to polish this. And I'm going to polish making a circular motion because with a circular motion you get the nicest coverage because then you don't get the lines, you don't see any streaks, so nice circular motion. Do it in between here as well. And then brush it off. And then you are done with your little piece. So I can mount that on here. So that's how you use the transfer sheet. I want to show you a little uh, thing that I did inside here and inside of this card because that uh, bamboo sheet comes with, or the water lilies comes with some bamboo on the side. And as you can see here, I use the transfer sheet as well to transfer both the inside, so the outline sticker, as well as the leftover. So that's just a little detail that you can do as well. And then one of my favorite peel of stickers is um, the, out, the lines. So that's the um, all different strips, so you can use that a lot. So that, those are the ones that I used around the edge here. And then here I have the happy birthday that I transferred here. So for that happy birthday, I used that little strip and I did it exactly the same as the leftover. So that's it for today's YouTube. I've suggested a couple of videos you might enjoy. See you next time.